Hey, Brent here. So you're starting to do a little bit of webcasting or online presenting or even just like Zoom meetings and you want to know what different qualities of uh, microphones sound like and whether or not they're worth the investment. I'm going to go from cheap to fantastic and let you sound the difference or hear the difference between each of them. Now, I ain't starting on cheap. I'm actually starting on the most expensive one, but it's just that I want you don't want you to back out of the video as soon as you see this thing start. So the piece of gear that I'm using on screen here, Loopback Audio, just lets me switch between different microphones and different audio sources. It's on the Mac, it's fantastic. I highly recommend it if you use a Mac because it also lets you mix in computer audio sources. Let's start with our very cheapest microphone, the one built into my webcam. So let's switch over to that. I should almost apologize before I even start speaking, right? This is horrific. So this is a microphone built into a webcam, the Logitech Brio, which is one of the best webcams that you can get. It's 4K. It's not what's filming me here. I have a Sony camera. We'll talk more about that on another video. But it's what a lot of us get started with. Now, the problem is my room surfaces here are concrete, glass, wood, hardwood floors, and it's a small room. So the echoes on this are terrible. Your audience doesn't want to listen to this. It's very tiring. It sounds like you're talking in a shoebox. And if I start typing, if I take the keyboard and start typing here, even if I move it around, you can hear things. Oh my God, it's like deafening. Same thing if I pick up, and I have a little plastic piece here. I'm just gonna move across my desk. I have a wooden desk, I'm just gonna move it across. Oh my God, it's like a sound designer was actually microphoning this. So this is not so good. You could get started with it for an emergency, but you're gonna wanna move up pretty quickly. So let's take a move up. And here's the first move up. This is a Logitech Evolve, or no, Jabra. Jabra Evolve 40 microphone. I love this because it's very easy. It's USB, you just plug and play. The microphone is very adjustable. You can flip sides. It's very easy to switch from left ear to right ear. It's only got one earpiece, which I love. You can get it in one or two earpieces, but I like still having one ear free for fresh air and the sounds of the room and all that. It just seems more comfortable to me on a longer term but it picks up things in a really awkward way. So you'll notice that I have a verbal tick up kind of thing in between when I go between sentences and I'm working on that. But this thing picks it up as if it's like a spotlight on my mouth really going for it. Because it stays near your ear though, or because it stays near your mouth though, it's not as sensitive to things like echo in the room. Already this is a huge step up. But it does sound a little bit processed, like a Mr. Roboto, kind of, not Mr. Robot, but Mr. Roboto. You're all too young to remember Mr. Roboto. I was careful not to do the verbal tick there. Um, it also has no highs and no lows. It's like a car stereo from the 1990s with just one three inch paper cone in it. There's no tweeter, there's no subwoofer. It's not offensive, it's just not crisp and radio like. But for a hundred bucks or so, it's a huge step up over the one built into the webcam. So why would anybody spend more? I'll show you. We'll go one more step up. So let's mute this one. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's much better. Now, normally this would be mounted on an arm, like a swing arm that I would pull out. I'm not using this one at the moment, so I'm going to have to hold it in my hands for right now. This is an Electro Voice RE20. It's a very forgiving microphone. You don't have to get your room placement exactly right for this to sound magical. 
there are so much more highs and lows. My voice is, I'm not a singer by any means, but you can tell it really picks up warmth and almost like a honey kind of quality. It's much more forgiving in terms of the room. The echoes aren't as obvious coming off the walls compared to the webcam. However, this also means that you kind of need to be on top of it. I'm going to talk continuously as I move the microphone around, and you'll see what I mean. The distance that you have from the microphone has a huge impact on how loud it is. And if you pull it far away from your fat face, you're going to have to turn, <laughs> sound like I said, your fat face, my, my fat face. I would have to turn the gain so far up that you would pick up more things inside the room. Another thing that you'll notice, even just with the gain that I have here on this thing, listen to silence. Depending on the quality of your speakers, you might pick up like a faint uh, recorded hiss background or pop crackle kind of thing. That's because there's a lot of electrical gear, like audio grade electrical gear in between this and the computer. And any electrical interference in here, when you turn the gain up kind of high, you're going to pick this stuff up. So I did distance from me. It's also a little sensitive, although not as sensitive, off axis. So as even though uh, I, I'm like step or blah, 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 I'm not that far away, but all of a sudden now I'm speaking here, whereas the microphone is almost shooting behind me, the quality isn't as good. You lose bass big time. As soon as you go off axis, you lose bass. So when you use microphones like this, you really want to be right on top of them. The way that I gauge it is like the whiskers on my face need to feel the microphone. Um, or I'll just flat out, right now I'm resting the chin, uh, resting my chin against the microphone itself. That's also a really good gauge as to how close you need to be. I don't know about you, but I don't like having this big metal thing in between me and my viewers. It's kind of awkward, and I wanted a very close and approachable kind of thing. I didn't want something between me and the audience. So I'm going to go one more step up in terms of gear. I don't think the sound gets any better. I think for me, this is about as good as I've ever sounded. I just wanted something that didn't have a big chunk of metal between me and the audience. So we'll make one more final switch to our last destination, the one that I started with. Okay, so now I'm on a DPA Define headset. What this is, it's kind of like the Jabra in that there's no speaker over here. There is a speaker inside here. You don't have to buy one with a speaker. You can get one that just is a, a single ear uh, microphone or like what I've got, there's also a piece of plastic that comes around this side, metal and plastic, to anchor it really firmly on my head. These are, buckle up, about a thousand bucks. But the nice thing is, is now there's nothing in between me and the audience. I can hand gesture like crazy. There's no boom microphone in the way. And I have the nice earpiece in here in order to hear what's going on. The sound quality is pretty doggone good. Uh, I didn't do typing, I think, in the last one with the electro voice. It does pick them up, but I'll do it here with this one. Let's see here. So this is... Um, so that gives you a rough idea that you can still hear things. If When there's an air conditioner going in, on inside here, I can kind of pick that up in the background, but it's pretty faint compared to the insane Logitech. So the this guy was, if I remember right, about 500 bucks, and then you're going to need about another 100 to 150 bucks to hook him up to your computer. This thing's about 1,000 bucks. You need the same about 150 bucks worth of gear to hook him up to your computer. Is it worth it? Well, in order for me to find out, I'll just switch back over to the webcam one, and the kind of story kind of tells us so. No one wants to listen to this for an extended period of time just because it sounds like you're talking into a shoebox. It does have a lot of highs. It has like no lows whatsoever. 
So this one is a reminder built into your webcam. And then for me, this is kind of the sweet spot, the Lodge the uh, Jabra Evolve link. Let's switch over to him. So for like a hundred bucks, this at least gets rid of the audio noise in the background and focuses it just in on you, keeps your hands free and clear. Um, it does sound robotic, but you know what? On a lot of people's computers, their headphones aren't that great anyway. This at only like a hundred bucks with both speaker and microphone built in, works on USB-A, USB-C, uh, works great on laptops. You don't have to lug around of a lot of uh, extra gear. If you're doing client calls on the road, it is 100% worth uh, upgrading. I don't know how much of us are doing road travel these days. Um, it's 100% worth it to upgrade to something like this. And then for my really good stuff, for the stuff that I record at home or just when I'm working at home with clients, this is worth it to me. So the job or the job was a hundred bucks. This setup's like a thousand, eleven hundred bucks, but the quality, holy smokes, especially for things. If you're going to record training, that is totally worth it in the long run. So hopefully that gives you a quick tour there of some of the audio options out there.